Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of a shape by counting unit squares. Now remember, area is the amount of space a two-dimensional shape takes up. And two-dimensional just means flat, so a flat shape. We can also think of area as the amount of space inside a shape. Now, like we talked about in the introduction to area video, we measure area in square units. So what we can do, we can cover a shape with unit squares, squares that have side lengths of one unit. There's a unit square right there above the green rectangle. Now, each unit square has an area of one square unit. So we can count the unit squares that cover a shape, and that will give us the shape's area. Let's jump into our examples, which we will go through eight examples in this video in order to get this down, starting with numbers one and two. Let's cover these shapes with unit squares and find their areas. For number one, how many unit squares cover the rectangle? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So the area of this rectangle is 12 square units. Let's move on to number two, where we have a square. So let's find the area. How many unit squares cover this square? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the area of this square is nine square units. Let's move on to numbers three and four. Here are numbers three and four. And for these, each unit square equals one square foot. We can see our unit square at the top of the screen. Each side measures one foot. So each unit square has an area of one square foot. That means we are measuring area in square feet. We have a specific unit here. Now let's cover the shapes with unit squares, which again, each unit square equals one square foot. So looking at number three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six square feet. The area for number three equals six square feet. Moving on to number four, let's find the area. And for this one, can we think of a way to figure out how many square feet we have here without counting each individual square? What would be quicker than that? Well, how about something like this? We have one, two, three, four, five rows here. And remember, rows go horizontally, so side to side. And then if we look at each row, we have one, two, three squares. So an option here is to skip count by three. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15. So the area is 15 square feet. Now going off of that, can we skip count the other way as well? So taking a look at the columns, well, let's see if we get the same answer. Let's clear the writing off the rectangle. Remember, columns are vertical, so they go up and down. We have one, two, three columns. Now in each column, we have one, two, three, four, five squares. So we can skip count by five. Five, 10, 15. So we get 15 square feet that way as well. Skip counting is a good strategy that we can use. Now, can we count each individual square? 
Absolutely, we will get 15 square feet that way as well, but skip counting can speed up the counting process. Let's move on to numbers five and six. Taking a look at numbers five and six, each unit square is one square inch. And we can see our unit square at the top of the screen with side lengths of one inch. Let's cover our shapes with unit squares. And each unit square has an area of one square inch. Looking at number five, let's skip count here to see how many unit squares cover this shape. We have one, two, three, four, five rows with one, two, three, four, five squares in each row. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So the area of this square is 25 square inches. Moving on to number six, let's count the unit squares to find the area. Let's switch it up and skip count by the columns. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns with one, two, three, four squares in each column. We have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So 28 square inches here. The area of this rectangle is 28 square inches. Let's move on to numbers seven and eight. Here are our last two examples, numbers seven and eight. We have a couple of compound shapes here. So shapes that are made from a combination of basic shapes. For example, these compound shapes are made up of rectangles. We still find area using unit squares. And for number seven and eight, each unit square is a square meter. And we can see our unit square at the top of the screen. Each side measures one meter in length. So let's cover these shapes with unit squares, which each have an area of one square meter. Let's start with Number seven, how many unit squares do we have here? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the area of this shape is 10 square meters. Let's move on. Let's move on to number eight and see what the area of this shape is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven square meters here. So the area of this shape is seven square meters. So there you have it. There's how to find area by counting unit squares. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.